In fact, the employee is the subject of an ongoing fraud investigation right now and has been suspended indefinitely. Fraud? What you mean? Alright y'all, suggestions coming back on here for you. My friends are still trash. Um, <laughs> uh, Lucy is, is still not still not at the cabin and my friends don't care they in the sauna they chilling whatever um uncle max this is uncle max's cabin that we at well i shouldn't say we at because i'm not there my friends is there but i'm not there but here go uncle max saying how's it going kiddo having fun hello having so much fun you can't get to your phone you young people always staring at your phones until an adult is trying to get a hold of you. Uncle Max, please, please save me because nobody else seems to care. Nobody else seems to care about me. Everybody, like, they, nobody finds it strange that Lucy is leaving them all red. Nobody finds it strange. Like, the whole world, the whole world do not care. And my friends talk about, so, oh, she probably at a motel. If I'm at a motel, why wouldn't I be texting y'all? What do what y'all, why would I not do that? What's not clicking? What's not clicking for y'all? Okay. Ethan said, yo, where are you guys? David said, Callie and I are in our room. Tara said, I'm still outside by the lake. Ethan said, I just looked at Lucy's messages again. Look at the time on the dashboard. Okay, 9-11. Tara said, what about it? Ethan says she sent it at 9.27 p.m., but look at the time on the car. She must have sent it before she went live. Tara said, how does that work? Ethan said, there's pretty bad signal here. Maybe the message only came through later. Callie, David, are you seeing this? David said she was in her messages. She said, David said she said in her messages that she was only 10 miles away. That's like a 30-minute drive. I'm going to go look for her. I mean, it's about time. It's one o'clock the next day. What are y'all do? Okay. All right. <laughs> David said, I'm going to go look for her. Callie said, are you crazy? Why don't we just call the cops? David said, Ethan effed up that option last night with his little prank. So y'all, they were wasted. Everybody was wasted last night. And Ethan called the cops playing on the cops' phone, talking about some, we need more beer. It's an emergency. We need more beer. So now the cops don't, the cops do not care about them. He's, David said, you think they come help us out when we totally wasted their time? I think I saw a shotgun in the closet. I'm going to go check it out. Yep, got it. Okay, got, listen. Got the clip. David said, I'll take it with me just in case. Callie said, I'm coming with you. Girl, whatever. You just want to come just to, okay. You know what? I I shouldn't even be, I shouldn't even be bad. I shouldn't even be bad. It's, it took y'all long enough to care. It took y'all long enough. David said, you really don't have to if you don't want to. Callie said, I'm coming. Fine. Y'all, again with this, they in the same room. We know, we have confirmed that they're in the same room. Like they are, David and Callie, are in the same room at this very second arguing over text message. But <laughs> but I get it for the purposes of suggestions for us reading these messages so we can understand that they're that this is how they are and they just bicker as girlfriend and boyfriend. But I just want to let it be known that <laughs> if this was a real life conversation, it'd be so strange because they're sitting in the same bedroom right now, texting the group chat, arguing, talking about, I'm coming with you. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You sure? Yeah, I am. Like, you you texted this versus saying it out loud. Okay. Um, I get it, though, because we need to know. We need to know who coming to see my sis, uh, what's her name? Lucy? I was about to say my sis Josie. R.I.P. Josie. But no, not it ain't Josie Lucy. <laughs> Where is Lucy at? Okay, Callie and David, they argued about going to find Lucy. 
Tara said, me and Ethan can stay here just in case she shows up. David said, good idea. I'm going to map out the route she might have taken to try and work out where she may have ended up. Okay. So my friends is finally paying attention. At 1.09 p.m., I went missing at 9 p.m. last night. And here go my friends at 1 o'clock. They done had a whole morning of eating bacon and relaxing in the sauna and posting Instagram stories. Talk about, oh, Lucy fine. She had a motel. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't know where I am, but no, I'm not. Okay, Uncle Max called me. Obviously, I didn't answer the phone. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Let's look at some of these stories. Is this Are these stories going to make me mad? They my friends. It's probably them at the sauna and taking pictures by the lake. What I tell you? What I tell you? Chilling. Chilling. Why they friend missing? Chilling. Look. Chilling. I really needed this. Best time. If y'all don't get out of here. If y'all don't get out of here. Okay, y'all. David says, so there's three routes Lucy could have come. They split when they hit Vermont. So one of them is quicker than the other. So I'll try that first. Okay. Okay, so they were in Boston traveling north. She said they were only 10 miles away, though. So wouldn't they be somewhere? I, I don't know, y'all. David said, if she's not there, I'll check the rest of the route. Callie said, we, David, we. <laughs> Tara said, cool, keep us posted. He said, we'll do. Okay, I guess we got a plan now. Okay, so David then texted me on the side saying, I'm on my way. I'll find you. And when I do, I'll be your knight in shining armor. Look, David, David trying to get it. Okay, David is trying to get it. But, bro, it might be too little too late. Tara said, LOL, Callie, just saw your story. Insensitive much? Hold on, y'all. What's Callie's story? We can see Callie's story, too. Look. When you drove four hours to get to Vermont, but you're still effing driving. Holiday fail. F my life. Girl! Look at her in the, in the rearview mirror. Girl, I'll slap you. I will slap you. Hold on. What's Ethan's story? So my asshole friends decided it'd be a good idea to put glue in my underwear. <laughs> to glue my underwear to my body. Wait, no, tell me about the water. To the about. She says the water. The water. They put my hand in water. <laughs> Which, honestly, wasn't even the problem. The problem was the fact that I had had, like, 12 beers or some shit, and I really needed to pee. Um, so I had to, like, cut this gigantic hole in, in my, in Dude, my, in my underwear. Tiny. It was huge. It was, like, it was, like, this big. It was, it was massive. It was, nothing. it was actually huge. Oh, my God, you're such a baby. You it was need, hilarious. You don't even get to talk, all right? You don't even get to talk. Shit hurts, all right? Fucking crazy glue. That shit sticks to your body. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Again, it hurt. It's lasting memories, okay? Oh, my okay? God. Lasting okay. scars is what I'm going to have. <sighs> Jesus Dude. Christ. Anyway. Can y'all be figuring anyway. out where Lucy is? Um, Instead of whatever so this is. So, weird thing. Lucy didn't actually show up yesterday. I don't know. I don't know where Lucy is. She just... At least I don't think she showed up. Like, I checked her room. Wasn't slept in. At least I don't think it was. Um, nothing really moved or different. She's probably just murdered. Okay, all right. What? She was in a weird, weird-ass, like... She hitched a ride with some dude who was pretty weird. He was pretty weird. I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. He was pretty weird. Um, probably, yeah. Honestly, he probably just took her phone or something. Like, he probably just, like, said, Hey, give me your phone. Get out of the car. And honestly, she like she's probably okay. She's, Dude, she's she says she's okay. Fine or she's dead at the side of the road, and we just need to make. All right, fun. let's. Oh what? my goodness, let's just. What? Lucy, if you're watching, please come home. We are worried, even though she's being a fucking asshole over there. <laughs> okay, we are worried. All right, just please, like, 
I don't know. Contact us if you can. Dave Yo. and Kelly are out there looking for you now. Yeah, you'll probably um, hear them. You'll probably hear them. They're... <sighs> God. Figure their shit they out. They need to oh figure God. it out, man. I don't know. What are they... They should have figured it out. I don't know. They're just... Oh my God. Um, but yeah, come home, bring water, because Tara's not bringing me water. <laughs> don't, don't... I fucking... Please she says don't hi. be dead. Don't be dead, please. <laughs> Don't be dead, because I don't want to hang out with them. And also, you're cool. So, yeah. All right. Bye. Oh, my God. I, y'all. <laughs> I, re- I thought Fran and Perry and them were, were terrible people. I hate these people even more. I hate all of them. Oh, my God. I don't. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Okay, Tara says, Callie just saw your story and sensitive much. Callie says, says you? Admit it. You guys are just as pissed off as I am. We're not all chilling in, in the lake right now. Tara said, LOL, how do you know me and Ethan aren't? Ethan said, I mean, I'd rather be home with any of you guys after. Ethan said, I mean, I'd rather be home than with any of you guys after what you did last night. Callie said, well, I'd happily take your place there right now. Ethan said, oh, come on. Nobody made you go with David. You were bitching for ages about how you didn't want to go. Right. He even said that you didn't have to go with him. Scared to admit you're a clingy girlfriend stereotype. And Callie said, supportive girlfriend. Why aren't you helping us? Suspicious much? All of these people are trash. (laughs) Oh, my God. They don't even care. And here go Callie on my phone talking about, of course, David wants to go looking for you. He's so predictable. Y'all, no, there is no sense of urgency among any of these people. This girl might be dead. And they over here, they over here mad that they got to go look for her. Like, what kind of people are these? What kind of friends are these? Oh, my God. Okay, so Ethan texted me and said, Hey, Lucy, if you're getting these messages, please, please say something if you still have your cell. No, bro. No, I don't. My God. (laughs) Okay. And then Simon from the lab says, Submission was successful. One and oh, your move, Lucy. Oh, my God. Bro, I do not care about no kind of paper research paper or whatever it is you talking about i'm missing okay here go the group chat ethan asks guys update callie said we scoped out one of the three routes no signs of the car david's being very thorough with an eye roll emoji we're going on to the next route now text you when we have an update okay so they still ain't found lucy it's three o'clock it's like 18 hours <laughs> it's been like 18 hours since this girl gone missing but they just now they just now looking for her but okay this oh child the ghetto the ghetto girl you needed better friends you need better friends i want better for you sis callie said so Callie said, text you when we have an update. If we don't run out of gas, that is. He's refusing to take a diversion for some gas. Tara said, that sounds like him, to be honest. Or to be fair. Callie said, yes, yeah, stubborn AF. What's my email? Oh! Uh, what? Hold on. Fraud. Okay, the mechanic man. Wait a minute. The mechanic man, the Aaron at Mechafix said, Hi, Lucy. On behalf of the Mechafix team, I'd like to apologize to you for the previous emails you received from Aaron. Our latest email audit uncovered a series of emails to you from a company account that we are frankly embarrassed to have anything to do with. We can only assure you that the views expressed therein are of the individual employee and not representative of the company as a whole. In fact, the employee is the subject of an ongoing fraud investigation right now and has been suspended indefinitely. Fraud? What you mean? Just so you're aware, the name he used with you may not be his real name and police have recommended that we pass on a word of caution to you 
about recent approaches from strangers based on the individual's past record regarding harassment. Oh my God. Oh my God. The man at the mechanic shop that did this, y'all. What is, what? (laughs) Can you imagine just trying to get your car fixed and then being abducted? Oh, because you was trying to get your car. Like, what was she supposed to do? Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm not, I can't even jump to conclusions. Let me finish reading the email. Again, our deepest apologies to you, and we wish to offer you a full service free of charge at your next convenience. A full service? Bro, what you mean a full service? You mean, why would I go back to your, why would I go back to this mechanic? If you telling me that, the man gonna harass me. Like, why would I walk back into the harassment? Like, what do you, what? <laughs> like, why would I be comfortable going back to a place that you had to offer this email? Oh my God. Okay. Y'all, did the mechanic man abduct me? And wouldn't Lucy know that? Like, wouldn't she be, wouldn't she recognize him if that was the driver? Right? I can't even believe this. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, I can't. What? <laughs> the mechanic man did this. Did he do it? Did he abduct me? And what did he want with me? What do he want with me? I'm scared. This is Tyler, the bar manager on my f- pickup. He didn't call me. Bro, can you relax? Can you relax? I don't care about you. He harassing me too. Y'all, can we go revisit the... <laughs> I need to revisit the the mechanic. I can't... What? What is this? <laughs> so y'all, remember the man was talking to me. The errand man from Mechafix was telling me, Oh, when you came to pick up your car, you were so beautiful you do you want to go on a date and i was like thank you but no thanks but no thanks i just needed my car fixed bro bro because that's that's why i came to the mechanic and he was like oh i misread the signals but you need to come back so i can so i can try again i can shoot my shot again and then now all of a sudden i'm getting this email saying that man been suspended for fraud he's a fraudster and then at the end, they talk about, so bring your car back. Why? Why would I bring my car back, sir, to whoever? They ain't even put no name on this email. Back a fix management team. Who, who is this? Who are these people playing on my phone? And and does Simon, is his name Simon? Lab Simon. He the one that hooked me up with these people. Did he know this? Did he know this when he was telling me to go in there and get my car fixed? It might all be a conspiracy. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Everybody is trash. I thought it was just this friend group that was trash, but no. The I woof. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even get my car fixed in this town. Oh my god. <laughs>